public um, blanked out there void public void update form and then we're gonna create it and what it's gonna do is it's going to set Joe's cache dot text equal to Joe dot name plus has plus Joe dot cache so it's getting the var variables okay no 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 don't do that seriously all right it is getting the variables okay I, I don't know if I told you this before but Joe cache oh whoops see Joe cache that's the name of this label right here so uh, it's basically gonna, gonna set the text very uh, the text property on this label to Joe's name plus so basically Joe has and then the amount of cash he has so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Bob cash dot text is equal to Bob dot okay no dot name plus has money oh I put double spaces up here plus Joe dot okay stop that cash alright so basically whenever you run update form it's gonna update these two labels and I also need to make a bank cash bank cash dot text is equal to bank or the bank has plus bank I haven't created the variable bank yet but let me go ahead and do that alright so whenever we initialize the form let's go ahead and create bank oh no 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 alright int bank so bank is just going to be an integer and we're going to set it equal to we'll say three hundred dollars should be good All right. so now what I want to do is first of all not misspell that and uh... Well actually i'm going to go ahead and update it up here second of, second of all i'm going to find out some why some of my errors are happening let me pause real quick All right. Uh, one more thing we have to do is we have to create variables for our guys so uh, we're gonna we're at we have to create the guys as variables first before they can be properly set and I'm gonna go ahead and de declare my bank while I'm at it uh, bank is equal to 100 and I'm gonna go ahead and take that out of here actually 300 and we'll set it 300 okay now we're almost done now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set our button script Let's go ahead and create our button script. So, right here, I'm going to set this one to, or let's go ahead and do. Okay, if the bank has is greater than or equal to ten. So if they have ten dollars, then. bank minus equal to Joe dot receive cash oh, oops. I'm gonna go ahead and start using the autofill receive cash and then do ten dollars so it's gonna call the receive clash uh, the, the, the receive cash method and it's going to par uh, pass through the parameter of ten so they're going to receive ten dollars and the bank is going to lose the ten dollars if that's the return value see it goes to this uh, method and the method returns the value of either zero or ten if it doesn't work it returns zero if it does work it returns ten so uh, the bank will lose money depending on if it works or not so then we're gonna update the form and then we're gonna say else Um, we're gonna say message box 
the bank is poor. <laughs> Alright. So, if the bank can afford to give them $10, then they receive the cash. Uh, otherwise, the bank is poor. And it will update the form, necessarily. Alright. And since this isn't going to uh, change anything, we don't need to update the form for that one. So, now let's go ahead and go set our other button. And on this one, what we're going to do is we're going to say bank plus or equal to Bob dot give cash. And we're going to say five. And then update form. Okay. So this one doesn't need an if, val if value because it checks dur during the method. So it's going to say if Bob has five dollars to give to the bank then give it to him and it's going to return the value from give cash and if it returns zero the bank receives nothing and Bob loses nothing if it returns five Bob loses five and the bank gains five so um, yep that's pretty much how it works so I think that is all of the script let's go ahead and run this and see how it works I'm gonna go ahead and save all alright now let's run it Okay, here's our form, and it automatically updated the form and says, Bob has $50, Joe has $50, the bank has $300. Now, as you can see, that's not right, because Bob is supposed to have $100. And the reason this is, is because I accidentally said Bob.cash instead of Joe.cash on that. So, let's go ahead and run it again. And as you can see, it is fixed this time. Give $10 to Joe. Joe just gain ten dollars and the bank lost ten dollars see the bank has now has two hundred ninety and it updates automatically so now receive five dollars from bob bob just lost five the bank gained five so now you can just play around with it and yeah that is uh... explaining objects and fields um... It, let me go ahead and recap something a little bit and basically say that uh basically the cash and name is a field of a class uh, those are fields and you have to set fields uh, the, the fields basically tell the properties of uh, this guy and the class itself is a guy and uh, or the object rather whenever you create an object you're creating a new guy it's like making a new baby basically um, and it's we're all humans so humans would basically be the class and an object would be a specific person so uh, we basically just set jo Joe to have fifty dollars and his name it um, Joe so we named him and those are his fields or his properties um, and yeah that's basically how objects work they basically let you create new instances of classes and set specific uh, properties of them so uh, let's go ahead and uh, wrap this up I will see you guys in my next tutorial and this is me signing off